Hi everyone, Juliana here. In this video, I will be showing you seven fantastic patios with seven fantastic views in the incredibly scenic Niagara region. Our stops will include the patios in Niagara Falls, Wineland, and Wellens, Ontario. With everything going on in the world, we choose to showcase all top patios that strictly adhere to COVID safety precautions and protocols. Please be safe at all times and get out there and help local business. We started our patio food tour heading out from Toronto on a Friday afternoon. It's summertime in Ontario and the roads are very busy, so plan your trip ahead. After arriving in Niagara Falls, we stopped at Clifton Hills for our first patio, the Niagara Brewery Company. Making all their beer on site, this Ontario Brewery Company brings craft beer to the Niagara region. They make crisp, cold lagers to hoppy IPAs and even ginger peach huddles to ice wine beer flavors. I'm an easy drinky beer person, but my fiance likes IPAs. So I got the premium lager and he got the Beer Devil IPA. They were both very good. Lots of great bites here, but one dish that really stood out was something very simple that almost everybody in the world loves. The fries. Seriously, those are some of my favorites. Very crispy, crunchy, and the flavors were very fresh. I just loved them. After Niagara Brewing, we went to try another bite. Walking around the falls, there are a ton of great bar and restaurant patios to choose from. Antica is an Italian eatery that has done well adapting their space to serve more guests under Covid guidelines. They've really created a quiet, rustic environment in the middle of a parking lot. One place that we always like to go to is the Niagara Kelsey's because of the incredible patio. It's large and inviting, giving lots of space to eat safely and always has an incredible vibe. I had this beautiful strawberry margarita. It was good, but for me, too sweet. And a chicken quesadilla, not a bad size for sharing with another person. At the end of your night, I totally recommend going to see the falls. The lights are just beautiful and give the whole area an amazing color to sit and relax at night. We walked all the way to the end to see the falls up close. The next morning in Niagara Falls, we walked along the falls to try an incredible patio at Queen Victoria Place restaurant. This place has the most incredible view to it I have seen in Canada. You can see a full view of the falls. In the 
food was amazing. I had this delicious taste of Niagara feature, which was the chef inspiration dish. A sirloin cut with cheddar smashed potato, sauté veggies, crispy onion rings and a delicious gravy. This view together with a very tasty meal is the perfect pairing. After this stunning patio meal, we went peachy peak in Niagara on the lake. It was an amazing experience, and if you'd like to see more, check out on my peachy peak and video. This is a must see stop. In Niagara on the lake, you can enjoy a ton of great patios. It was very busy, so we didn't stop. It's a place I love to visit and really recommend trying their award winning restaurants. recommend checking out the view by the lake. On our way back towards the falls, we stopped at this beautiful place to check out the view from the Iron Car, part of Niagara Parks, where you can get panoramic views of Niagara Gorge and Niagara River. Patio, we drove it for about 25 minutes to a place called Welland. This restaurant is called Terrace on the Water and it is a winey country bistro. It's really worth trying, not just because it has a stunning view of the Welland Canal, but the food is just delicious. The environment of the place is very nice and you just feel like you could stay there all night. I had an Aperol Spritz, totally summertime vibe. For our appetizer, we had this fried calamari, lightly buttered with spicy mayo for dipping. I simply loved it. The calamari was very tender and the butter was crispy and very well done. For my entree, I had this tasty roasted chicken supreme. It came with sweet potato gratin, seasonal vegetables, honey mustard and bourbon. My fiancé tried their housey burger, which was very juicy and classic. This place is really beautiful, I couldn't stop taking pictures and enjoying the view. To finish up the night back in Niagara, mm. we went over to the casino side of the falls and tried the top pile of Margaritaville. It's a nice patio that gives a great view of the casino street and has a great beach vibe. As we walked up the stairs, we could see how cool the inside was. They have a bunch of great bar food from burgers to nachos to ribs and of course a larger list of margarita flavors. See, I had a margarita the night before. 
so I tried the sangria and a few craft beers. It was nice to sit, relax and enjoy the view. You can even see the falls from the patio. The next morning we skipped breakfast and stopped at one of my favorite dessert stores, the Fudge Factory, and got some goodies. I got this chocolate dipped waffle wrap, very tasty, crunchy and the caramel filling and the chocolate dip together were perfect. We made another stop to the Hershey's chocolate store, which I never miss. We got this really crazy, delicious chocolate milkshake. It was unbelievably good. Another great patio that you can check out is at Vineland Estates Wineries, where we stopped in quickly to grab a nice bottle of wine. This vineyard is on a huge property that just takes your breath away. Stop by for a winey tasting in an amazing restaurant patio looking over the green surroundings. Our last patio stop is at the famous Lake House restaurant just off the QEW in Vineland, west of Niagara Falls. It offers European cuisine with a North American twist. I don't need to say just how beautiful this place is. I had the shrimp mac and cheese, which is a potato gnocchi pasta and shrimp, garlic cream sauce, mozzarella, parmesan and goat cheese. We also tried the arrabbiata pizza with pepperoni, chorizo chicken, bacon peppers. My pasta was amazing, very tasty, it was very creamy, the shrimp was perfectly cooked. The pizza was also very nice, light and flavorful. For desserts, they have this options of mini desserts, which is perfect if you just need that little sweet taste to finish your meal. I got the most popular choice, the Scorba cheesecake and the raspberry cheesecake. They were both very good. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you liked, don't forget to drop a like. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.